Hello, and welcome back to Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. Today we're going to be restoring a Hot Wheels Custom Eldorado. This particular one is painted in olive drab green, and we got a black vinyl top. And we're going to go ahead and repaint that too. The tires are pretty tired, and there's a lot of paint chips and some toning. Please stick around to the very end of the video for another special announcement from Diecast Graveyards. I hope you like the giveaway of the Boss Hoss, but we're going to do it again, so stick around. I've already drilled out the holes on the bottom, so we're going to evaluate the parts now. Base is really, really tarnished. Now notice how there's no slots in the bottom where you would see the suspension wires. This signifies that this particular car was manufactured in the U.S. Windshield scratched, well, now we got a crack in the back of the windshield here, the back window. So we're going to have to order a new one. Interior is looking pretty good. Just running through some hot soapy water and a toothbrush, that'll be great. Now the body. The body is in pretty rough shape. There is a ton of toning underneath the paint. But it's really hard to see because of the dark color. But we're going to do our best to remove it. Alright, let's move on. Here we're going to work on the wheels. Now, I have in the past talked to a few folks and they said, you can remove the wheels if you're careful. You can use some type of lubricant like WD-40 or something. You just got to take your time, but if it appears that the bearing is going to come off, you need to stop. Now, on this particular car here, I could pull off three of the wheels, but the fourth one, the suspension wire, is actually keeps coming out. So I'm really afraid I might be breaking that uh, axle there, so I'm just going to go ahead and snip off this wheel. Sometimes they come off pretty easy, sometimes you may have to cut two or three times to get them off. But be persistent. There we go, now it's off. Now it's time to take the paint off. So we're gonna put this in our citrus strip and completely coat the car. Make sure you do the outside of the car and then flip it over and also do the inside of the car. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click on that little bell to be notified of any future releases. Make sure that you coat the inside really good also because if you happen to be changing the color of the car, you want to make sure that you get all the old paint off. That should be good enough. Let's let that sit for a while. Now to the base. It's pretty tarnished. We're going to put it in a mixture of lime away and water. A 50-50 mixture. Now, as I've said in previous videos, you want to make sure you don't leave this in there any more than four minutes. If you do, it'll really start to turn the bottom of this metal black, and you don't want that. It's really hard to get back once you do. Now, making sure I'm wearing my rubber gloves here, we're going to use some of that lime away, and we're going to give it a little extra scrub, just to make sure that we're getting everything in those little nooks and crannies. But it worked extremely well. I'm very happy with this. This is a 50-50 mixture of lime away and water. And again, don't let it sit any more than four minutes. Now you may have to let it go a little further, but be careful. Look how nice and clean that turned out, just after some scrubbing. Looking pretty good. Now let's put on some new wheels. Here we got a new set of shoes out here. All four of these are medium wheels. I found that out from using the wheel selector off of brightvisionwheels.com. If you're not sure what wheels you need to go on your car, go to the website, select your car, and it will automatically guide you onto what wheels you need to have for your car. And it'll also give you a bunch of different uh, options such as deep dish wheels or dull wheels or high polished chrome wheels etc 
Don't forget now, the wheel selector at brightvisionwheels.com. There, they're fitting on pretty good. I think you've seen people put on tires before. There. That looks pretty good. Definitely. That looks really nice. All right, back to the car. Let's get that old paint off there. I'm also stripping a, an old uh, AMC Pacer at the same time here. I had painted it before, but I didn't like the way the paint came out, so I'm going to strip it and do it again. And don't forget, with this hobby here, if you make a mistake, all you have to do is strip it down and do it again. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt, but you're going to get the results that you want. Now, the reason I'm stripping that pacer again is because I saw a run on there. And I wanted to sand it down, but I didn't think I could get the right finish that I wanted because it's a two-tone paint job. But, uh, so I stripped it, and I'm going to do it again. Who knows, maybe I'll change the color. All right, let's move on. Now we've got the car out of the paint stripper. We're going to go ahead and polish it down and hopefully we'll get as much of that toning off there as we possibly can. I start out using a Scotch-Brite pad. They seem to work pretty darn good. Just take your time. Attack the real heavy deposits of toning. And just work your way around the car. Now, I literally have spent over an hour on a car sanding the uh, Scotch-Brite pads, the steel wool, etc. until I got the finish I wanted. This is the hardest part of, of prepping the car, is getting the body ready. There. That looks pretty good. Nice and shiny. Don't forget we're going to be painting the roof black, so that's going to cover up any small scratches or anything, so I don't have to concentrate so hard on that. Now it's time to start painting. I got the body all degreased and de-waxed. We got the paint all mixed up. We're going to go back with that original olive color. I start by spraying a very light coat on the inside, and then I work my way around the car continually rotating and not saturating the paint, especially on these first few coats. Take your time, do a good job. Real light coats here. All right, let's let that sit for a bit. A few minutes later. Now we've let that sit for a few minutes, let's give it some more coats. Again, you want to try and build up slowly here. Take your time, a few light coats, keep moving, keep rotating, don't spray in one spot too long. Initially when you're painting this olive green, it looks like you're not going to get to the color you want. But the more paint you spray, the darker it gets. looking to see I thought I might have had some contamination in there but I guess I didn't it's just a little little pit mark in the back fender and there's nothing you can really do about that unless you want to sand the whole body down completely if you happen to leave a little bit of toning or some of the pit marks or a few of the scratches or something on there that's what gives the car its character so don't worry about it All right, we're just about done with the coats here, then we're gonna have to let it set. We're gonna have to come back tomorrow and paint the black roof on top. You want that paint to sit up a minimum of 24 hours before you put any kind of tape on it or anything like that. That's looking pretty good. Let's let this set up till tomorrow and then we'll put the black roof on waiting for the paint to dry. Now that the paint is dried and set up, we're going to mask off the area to paint the black vinyl roof. 
Now, instead of using the Tamiya tape, I use another vinyl tape to do my masking off because it bends around corners really easy. Now, notice that it puckers at first, but if you pull it back off, it retains a memory, and then you can put it back on again and rub it down nice and smooth, and it will stay. Plus, it gives a nice crisp line to what you're trying to paint, which is what you're looking for here. Make sure that it's laying down nice and flat, and then continue on with your masking. I really like this final tape. You can find a link to it down below that will give you instructions on where to purchase it. Now any vinyl tape like this will work, but it should be the pinstriping tape because it has a low adhesion. There. Now we just have to tape off the rest of the car. Now we've got the rest of the car all masked off. Make sure you check your tape to, to make sure that it's laying down properly and that it hasn't pulled up while you're putting on the rest of the tape. All right, it's time we sprayed it. Make sure you spray straight on. You don't want to get any paint underneath the edge of the tape. So by putting down very light coats, this also helps the edge of the tape get sealed. That way there it prevents paint from leaching underneath the tape. And you don't have to put down a lot of this black vinyl paint anyways because all you're doing is coating the roof. All right, let's peel off this tape and see what we got underneath. We peel off the remainder of the tape. You can see that the finish is nice and clean. There's nice crisp edges on it and that black vinyl paint just looks phenomenal. Nice, very, very nice. All right, we've got all the pieces together. We've got the base all nice and clean with nice brand new wheels on it. The windshield, unfortunately, still has a crack in the back. We're waiting for a delivery of that in the mail. Here we have the uh, interior, which has all been cleaned up and it's ready to go back in. So let's put it back together and have our reveal. And this is what we started with. A Hot Wheels Custom Eldorado with beautiful olive paint, but it's definitely tired. There's a lot of toning to the paint. There's a lot of paint missing. The windshield is cracked. The wheels are tired. It's definitely ready for a restoration. And this is where we got to. A beautiful, restored Hot Wheels Custom Eldorado. Well, except for the windshield anyways. But the paint job looks great. The, the wheels are brand new. They look fantastic. That black vinyl top looks beautiful. This would be a beautiful addition to anybody's collection. This is fantastic. Now, here we go again. If you comment El Dorado in the comments, in a week, we will do a drawing to give this car away. Just like we did with the Boss Hoss today. Comment El Dorado in the comments, and in a week, we'll draw a winner at random. Thanks for joining me here today at Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. Thank you so much, and have a great day. I look forward to your comments. Cheers.